An important component of the Ukrainian success during the Kursk operation was the use of electronic warfare and reconnaissance systems which blinded the Russians and at the same time gave the Ukrainians a lot of useful intelligence information. This was stated in an interview with Der Spiegel by Thomas Withington, an expert from the British Royal United Services Institute. According to him, the methods and technologies of electronic warfare and intelligence are perhaps the most secret part of the Russian-Ukrainian war. In addition, this equipment rarely gets into the camera lens, unlike tanks or infantry fighting vehicles, so it remains out of the public eye. Meanwhile, this is one of the most important elements of the current war. Ukraine has a mix of domestic and foreign systems. Both are very effective. The Ukrainians are also very strong in software and algorithms, which has contributed to their success in the electromagnetic spectrum. They are very good at identifying how Russia uses electromagnetic technologies. They have brilliant programmers who figure out how Russia uses these systems and then develop ways to disrupt them. The expert explains, According to him, as a result, the Russians are losing the ability not only to direct artillery using drones, but also generally lose situational awareness. Simply put, the enemy no longer understands what is happening on the battlefield. In addition to jamming enemy communications and radar, it is also a means of reconnaissance. As Whittington explains, to find out where an enemy soldier or vehicle is, it is enough to track the enemy's communications. You don't even need to decipher what Russian soldiers are saying. You just need to determine whether there is a transmission. This allows you to find out how many soldiers or vehicles are involved. But they can also decipher what they are saying and thus gather information about what is happening on the battlefield. The expert says, Whittington emphasizes that Russian electronic warfare systems are generally performing worse than they are presented and represented. The operation in Kursk therefore speaks in favor of the strength of the Ukrainians, but also shows the inability of the Russians in the electromagnetic spectrum. They should have responded within a few days. Their failure raises serious questions, since in some places Russia is conducting very successful electronic warfare and in others it suffers a blatant defeat, he says. A tower block in East London caught fire. It was covered in non-compliant cladding and more than 100 people, including children, have been evacuated. The mayor of London has urged people to avoid the area. A major incident has been declared as a fire engulfed a block of flats in Dagenham, East London. The block, described as a mixed-use residential and commercial building, was known to have a number of fire safety issues, according to the London Fire Brigade, and was covered in non-compliant cladding. Four patients were treated at the scene, and two were taken to hospital, the London Ambulance Service said. 45 engines and about 225 firefighters responded to the fire that engulfed the whole mixed-use commercial and residential building. As search and rescue efforts continued, a rest center had been set up for residents. The terrible scenes resulted in minimal injuries due to the swift response of the emergency services, according to the local MP, Margaret Mulling. London Fire Commissioner Andy Rowe said, a full simultaneous evacuation of the building was immediately carried out. He added that drones and 64-meter turntable ladders were being used to tackle the fire. A rest center has been set up in the Beckentree Heath Leisure Center and residents in the surrounding area were advised to keep their windows closed due to smoke. The cause of the fire remains unknown. Emergency services had declared a major incident, which has since been stood down. Oh, I'm not.